I've been playing with Mario's speed and acceleration and also... Now he can skid. Hello, I'm making a Mario without Mario Maker, and I had a hell of a time getting this video together. Construct crash, hit film crashed, OBS crashed, Firefox crashed, everything just left and right. So we're gonna do this video a little differently. Instead of focusing on the exact how-to of what I'm doing, I'm gonna concentrate more on the theory, the, the design elements. And at first I wanna talk about platforming, just in general. In both Mario Brothers and Mario World, Mario can jump about four bricks high from a standing leap. Now in Mario World, his vertical leap is affected by his horizontal run speed, and I believe that's true in Mario Brothers 3 as well. The original Mario Brothers, I'm having a great deal of difficulty uh, actually figuring it out. So for now, I'm not having his vertical speed affected by his run, but his vertical leap is by default about four bricks uh, if you hold the button. I've got that rigged up now. That works. If you tap the button, he does a small jump. If you hold the button, he does a big jump. It took a little bit of time and it was not very exciting to watch, I assure you, to figure out the exact split between velocity and, and in-game gravity to get the jump feeling more or less right. And I still think he's a little floaty, but I, I don't think it's that bad. Correct me if I'm wrong. If it feels too floaty, let me know in the comments. His running jump width is about 12 blocks, which is pretty consistent with at least the Mario Maker version of Mario Brothers Mario, and frankly, I'm satisfied just accomplishing that. His jumps on paper are right. Like I said, the floatiness coming back down is a bit of a factor, but the original Mario was pretty floaty, especially after a full jump. There was a definite difference between tap jumps and full jumps in terms of how uh, the gravity affected Mario afterwards, and I think that's recreated well enough here without it feeling too much like a clunky NES game. Currently, there is no run button. Mario just accelerates by default, and he's capable of accelerating in the air, which he shouldn't be able to do, probably. Uh, so those are things I've still got to work on, but a lot of the Mario jump physics, or at least in an attempt to replicate them, has now been performed. I've also started thinking about what I want to do with this game beyond replicating Mario, and I had an idea. I'm still mulling it over, cooking over the details, but... There was a second Mario Brothers that was deemed too much like the first one and a little too difficult, and there was a different second Mario Brothers that was considered perhaps a little too different, and only certain elements of it were maintained or revisited later. So what I'm thinking about is the hypothetical of a third second Mario Brothers. Imagine if Nintendo's sequel had followed the same trends as other sequels like The Adventures of Link or Simon's Quest. A Mario game that still plays like Mario, but features shops and a day-night cycle and an open world, things of that sort. Now, I wouldn't stick to that entirely if the game continues to progress at a pretty decent pace. There's a lot of elements from future games and even elements that have never been in a Mario game that I would love to add to this just f for the fun of it. But structurally, as far as the game itself is concerned, that's kind of what I'm uh, sniffing at. That's, that's kind of what I'm leaning towards. To be clear, I don't want to turn it into an RPG. I'm not giving Mario a health system or anything like that. I want it to play like Mario. But if Nintendo had tried to turn Mario into an open-world, exploratory, Goonies 2 type of game, I'm telling you, there was really a vibe with these sequels. There's also a couple weird little things that I want to try, just little twists on the structure of a game like Mario, really only a game like Mario. I, I want to keep the life counter, for example, but I want to use it in a way that I don't think I've seen a game use uh, a, a death tracker before. 
uh, things of that sort. The timer. The timer is really how I got started thinking about this, because I want to keep the timer, but instead of it being a countdown to Mario's death, I want it to be for the day-night cycle, and that, that sort of got the train rolling. Anyway, let me know in the comments what you think. Like I said, I'm, I'm still thinking about it. We're still in early days here with a long way to go. I don't even have mushrooms or Koopas yet, but something to keep in mind. Like and subscribe. Thank you and good night.